Look at the, oh, look we at the new check. You don't have the headphones or do you? Yeah, I do. Check. And look, I got all these new sturdy moves. Look, there's this one. I got this one from, what's his name, Chupra? Did you ever remember? Yeah. Chibu. He, <laughs> oh, he, he couldn't get his leg all the way up though, but he was like doing like that. Yeah. Yeah, it's just crazy. And then there's this one I got. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, that one's like all about like doing some shit with your hand to like accentuate what your leg is doing and like make the extra kick sometimes. It's like a bunch of sturdy moves I got in that five yo pit. Yeah, day one rolling loud. It was a success. Kid Cuddy got hit in the face with a water bottle. Yeah. We had a fun time. City Morgue was exciting. A little yeah. Darky killed it. Yeah, Darky killed it. Look at this. Yeah, yeah, Darky smoked it. That was a great, great set. Yeah. How was rolling loud for you? It was fucking awesome. Got to fucking be on stage for the first time, perform for the first time. Got to fucking be there for the first time. And got to hang out with you the, the whole day. Yeah, pretty much just, the first yeah, time we, we ever kicked it like that, yeah. We just mobbed all day. Yeah, we just mobbed all day. We didn't even film a lot of it because we were just chilling and walking around and saying hi to people. Yeah. But yeah, it, was it was fun. Good. It was a fun time for sure. Super fire day. We're tired. It's like 3 a.m. Yeah. I, I think my favorite, obviously besides like the homies, my favorite was definitely 5 0 4 and set. Yeah, I think 5 0 4 ins was my second favorite. Dark is definitely my favorite one. Okay, besides the homies. Besides, besides the, the homies, yeah. definitely 5 0 4 and Cardi killed it too. And I liked SSG Kobe's set. Yeah, he did good. He did good. He was getting the lit. Yachty's set I thought was going to be really good because there was like the most people that I saw there out of anyone's set. But Yachty's mic was just so loud that I couldn't like get into it. I know I've said it a thousand times, but the music for me is just overwhelmingly loud at every concert. <laughs> yeah. It's like, it triggers yeah. me. Darky, come, come over here. Why? Because. We got the Black yeah. Magic Pocket Cinema 4K camera right there in action. Darky, how was your experience at Rolling Loud? I, we were talking earlier, it's like a rap zoo. It was like really just like surreal and kind of like crazy and like authoritative, like vibe, like 1984. Yeah, I'm beat. I'm ready to go back tomorrow, get my fucking, get CTE from the bass in my brain. I'm such a fun guy at festivals and concerts. Yeah, I have like a short battery for like <clears throat> social shit. Normally after shows, everyone's like, you want to go to like the after party? You want to like go like do this? And I'm like, yo, I'm really trying to like shower and like yeah. eat and like play like my game and then like <laughs> We're just lighting you up with smoke weed, and then like after I smoke weed, then I go to sleep. Yeah. yeah, ears have been ringing. I have a headache. I feel like an old whiny man. Not yeah, fun. live events are like really fucked up, and like and like no one knows how to mosh. Yeah, festivals are like a weird like collection of random people that would never hang out with each other, and a bunch of girls wearing like bathing suits and like fishnets instead of clothes. And, like <laughs> perverts and like drug dealers yeah. and like fucked up dudes. And then, Yo, like, a few. There were a few crackheads. I ran into a few crackheads at Rolling Loud. Some dude legitimately came up to me and oh, asked yeah, for yeah. money. Remember that guy? Oh, we have a clip. Yeah. Of a, we have a clip of a guy saying that he was shot by a sniper in Ukraine, and that's. Oh. Why he had a cast on his arm. That's fucking crazy. But he just smoked crack. Yeah, now how the fuck are you a crackhead but you got into rolling loud? One of the uh, staff members, we were like parked in the van outside because they like wouldn't let us in for like a long time. And we were just parked outside. Oh, okay. For the video, I'll do it. We for were the fans at home. We were parked outside and uh, this the, one of the staff just walked up and was like, Yo, do you guys like have like papers? And we were like, what do you mean? Like identification? And we were like, got our IDs out and he was like, no, like rolling papers. He was just trying to like smoke weed. It was like actually like super appropriate. Yeah, there were cops there. I was smoking weed in front of the cops. So many cops, bro. There's a lot of yeah. them. For a while, it felt like I didn't see a single cop car that wasn't like a completely different like color department and color and like yeah. shit than another one. It was like so many departments of cops there. It was like a pink cop car there. They had the units out. Yeah, they had the breast cancer, the breast cancer the police. Squads. You don't know that, don't work. Tapped out of the blood. Did you even hit it once? I'm not hitting the blood. Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. yeah, I can't, I can't hit the tobacco. Oh, the tobacco. Yeah, the tobacco, yeah. I can't smoke, smoke the tobacco. tobacco. Yeah. It's shitty. It's like rat poison. It's like, yeah. dope. It's like dopamine rat poison. That's why, a, that's why I like it. I think, it. I think you should smoke cigarettes. They're good for you. They're good for your lungs, carcinogens, build aerobic endurance. I don't have any problem people smoking cigarettes, like but I'm just coming through with a hot take. Weed is better without the tobacco. It is. It is. It is. You don't get really that baked when yeah. you smoke it with tobacco. Honestly, you don't get really yeah. high. Because weed is like a psychedelic experience, low key. Like if you're doing weed right, it's like almost psychedelic every time you do it. So when you're doing weed and it's not like that, there's low key something fucked up about your weed intake. Like yeah. there's something you're doing wrong. Like niggas really be high. High off weed, bro. Like high. Like I'd be high off weed, bro. Like high off weed. Bro, earlier I was talking to Gasp in that room and I was like staring like through his head because I was like hit, I hit the stizzy too many times. <laughs> Talk about the stizzy. What's your opinion on the stizzy? What, what is a stizzy? Right a stizzy is like an electronic like jewel pod like smoking device type you thing. You hit it earlier. The stizzy to me is like a microwave. When you smoke regular weed, it's like you're getting baked. But the stizzy is like microwave high. It's like the equivalent of like eating like a DiGiorno's pizza that like was put in the oven or the DiGiorno's pizza that was put in the microwave or even like a Hot Pocket. Cause I feel like all food tastes better like in an oven. 
Like you still get high though, but you don't get like the same high, you know, when you put the weed with the papers or the bong. Eating weed is like really lit to me. Yeah, eating I weed like is edibles. the most the best way to so do it. Good. That's the that's the apex way to do weed. It's really strong. Apex. And yeah. it's different. What's like the most milligrams you've done on oh, edibles? Oh, like, yeah, like on on like accident, I did like 500. Once. I was gonna say, I did that's a lot. I did 300 on accident. My boy had like a pack that had like mad, like fucking, like, like you know, the sour strips. The gummies, they're so good. It was the sour yeah, strip. I love the gummies. And I ate the whole pack thinking they were regular sour strips. And then he was like, no, bro, those were edibles. You just ate 300 milligrams. And I was like, whoa. And, and I was really high all day. You know what RSO capsules are? Rick Simpson's oil? Oh, you mean yeah, like the weird, yeah. the, the ones that's like, it's like this, but in a capsule and you eat it? Yeah, I actually do know what those yeah, are, yeah. yeah. What's uh, the difference between that and edible? It's kind of like an edible, but it's like the it's weed. It's like the tweakery way to do it's weed. It's a pill, it's yeah. a pill way, yeah. So I, have, I have my medical card in Maryland and I, I bought uh, 10 100 milligram pills and like took them all at once. And it wasn't even fun. It just wasn't no, even fun. No, it's not fun. You took a Dude, thousand you, milligrams? I feel like I skipped so the high part and I was just like mentally like hindered and anxious and was like looking at my door handle like my dad didn't come in my room. Bro, like, yeah, yeah. Have you tripping. ever like been so high you like are looking at like just a door and you like could it's like you're just manifesting like some shit coming around it or like yeah it was just like someone coming in. It wasn't like, even fun. everything you think of. Yeah, it's debilitating. I think that's why people say it, like helps with addiction because if you like get so high off weed that you're just waiting, you can't wait to be sober. It probably helps. Yeah, you don't want to do happen. anything else. You don't yeah. want to do any of the drugs. That's why I think like psychedelic doses, like at high doses, like really heal people because like you're just like so fucked up that like you're like good after. You're just like yo. Like, like I'm trying to just like chill for a second. Get so high off weed you're incapacitated. Yeah. The so, feverish erection in yeah, your room. Yeah, it's like a good thing to do. I'm waiting for weed to call me to do like a commercial or some kind of like advertisement. Yeah. I weed. can get you a Delta 8 sponsorship. Del oh, I hate oh Delta God. 8, bro. Delta 8 is such bullshit. Yeah, it's some bullshit. Like we hate every that. Day, I you swear. Like Delta 8? What, what is it like? like? What's the it's like weed you? that's just a little less psychoactive. It's just a little less like intense. Yeah, yeah a little less psychoactive weed. That's what I would. That's describe. crazy. I can't even imagine you know, that. Salvia. Yeah, I don't like salvia at all. You oh did my it? god. You didn't yeah, like I, I, did I, I, I did it when I was like 17. I did salvia before. Salvia's, or 16. What salvia is okay. As soon as I hit it, I remember rubbing the concrete and looking around at everybody, and it was like I didn't know who anybody was, and I didn't know anything. And it was like I was looking at myself on the concrete. I was tripping. It what was concrete, like street. We were at the Liberty Exchange in Eldersburg, Maryland. It's yeah. like uh, yeah. it was at a construction site back then. It was like 2012. It was bad from the beginning to the end. Yeah, was it fun? Was it fun for you? It was interesting. In I, don't, I don't think it's Wait, supposed to be you fun. Describe it as interesting. I would describe mine as devastating. Devastating. Yeah. Like, I, don't I had to like put back together my thoughts for like twelve hours. I don't think salvia is supposed to be fun though. Yeah. Salvia is more like something you do when you need to go through some shit. If you're yeah. a masochist, you would like salvia. Well, you salvia. So like my experience, I just like smoked it, and I did like half a dose first to like see if it like would do something, and it like did nothing. So I like packed a full bowl after and ripped it and just held it, and I was sitting on like a curb, just like this kind of like a like a with my legs higher because I'm on the curb. I'm good. Thank you. And there's cars, you know, parked. There's a car parked right here. I'm in, like, the back of a car. There's, like, a front of a car here. I'm, like, between cars, like, on the side of the street. It's on, like, Pacific Coast Highway and, like, the, outside the Long Beach dorms. And I rip the salvia and all, like, I start, like, feeling like there's, like, a hand here just, like, pulling me back. <laughs> and I'm, like, I'm, like, uh, uh. <laughs> and, like, I, I, like, go like this and I grab myself and I look at the ground and it starts, like, doing some weird shit and I'm, like, fuck. And I, like, look at the car and all the cars on the street just start, like, floating up and, like, kind of and like coming apart in a way to where I can see inside them, but it's like nonsense inside them. It's like <laughs> gears and weird shit. Like my brain doesn't know what is in a car. I don't know anything about cars. How, so long, did like, that, how long did that transpire in like real world time? Just, just curious. From me hitting it to like getting to like cars coming apart was like 30 seconds. <laughs> and then I kept looking at the headlight of this car and it kept like feeling like it was just becoming everything. And then I'd look away and then I'd be <laughs> like, nah, this shit's floating at me. And then like everywhere I'd look, everything would like reset and then start floating at me again. And like it just died down and I was like, fuck, like if I had hit more, like I'd be in like noodle land where there's like noodle people in like crazy shit. There's like something. I just knew that if I had like let that hand pull me back to lay on the <laughs> ground, I would have gone through into some shit and folded up into some other place or some shit. In some regard, was it fun? Again, in retrospect, like it was not fun at all in it. And when you're in it, you're like a baby. It's like you can't even like really like... How the fuck can you fuck with some shit when it's like it's beyond your comprehension even? Like Yeah. That shit happens so fast when you're on Salvia. You've done Salvia? I did Salvia like once, like a long time ago. Did you enjoy it? I like blacked out for like a minute. It's just not yeah, fun. Like I it's just, just like it took me to out. it took me to a negative place immediately. Like as soon as the whatever the high kicked in, it's like like hell. It's hellish. I would My friend Wendigo, who I hope that you meet, he's tripped on Salvia like so many times. He enjoys it. He's he's won the game and he enjoys it. Well, not anymore. But like he yeah. For, for he used to fuck with it. Yeah. He figured out he, how, he how to make it fun. So much shit. Yeah. Or his first trip like was like. He'll, he'll talk to you about it if you ask him, but it's like a, it's just like Goofy and the Kool Aid Man were like chasing him. That yeah. like inspired like one of our like it inspired the Method beat. Yeah. Which is what then became one of our like biggest songs. Yeah. It's like cool. it's just fucked. That shit's fucked.
But yeah, sometimes you do something crazy like that and it's lit. Have you guys done DXM? No, I've but I'm done interested that. in. I'm, I love drugs. I'm so interested in drugs. What the fuck is that? It's not like DMT. It's no, like it's overdosing like, on cough medicine. It's like Benadryl. Oh, it's I've like shadow people and like the Hat Man. You know the Hat oh, Man? Oh, yeah, yeah. I fuck with Hat Man. Hat Man comes. Hat Man's yeah. lit. I, Hat yeah, Man. I fuck with Hat Man. I fuck with liminal spaces and all that shit. Yeah, like the, yeah, like the, the Yeah, dream the core shit. shit yeah. yeah, I fuck with back rooms, dream core, liminal spaces, all that. You yeah. know you know about Hat Man? No. You never seen Hat Man? No. Hat you gotta Man. see, you never got like sleep paralysis? And you, you see like a shadow in the corner of your room? No, yeah, yeah it's it, like a shadow and he like asked you like, it's kind of terrifying oh he wants to make a bargain yeah, make a, a bargain. I would be yeah. straight up like I'm like I wouldn't I would just attack it the tail is like, like that, you take DXM and then you get like a knock or some shit and then like at the hellish. door like you open whatever the door is and the hat man's there it's like some skeletal nigga with a hat but Last yeah he like wants DXM, to do something or some all shit. that happened was my head yeah he wants to make like a second. he wants to do something. he wants to make a bargain I don't want to fuck with him at all you don't fuck with shit like that? Dude, my friend took I shrooms like and that. he said he met Satan and had a really good conversation with him. And he was like... A, he was cool? He like wasn't cool, but he was like not like, you know, evil. He was like an angel. He's yeah. like a fallen angel. If you met Satan, like what sad, do you think you're... And he was like playing... Basically, my friend took like five grams of shrooms and he said like... He was looking in the mirror and he started hearing this beautiful song coming from nowhere. And he like looked over and like in this painting, like... He just started like talking to the painting and he said like it changed into like... A dude like playing like a you know like what's a har like a harp, yeah. And he like played the most beautiful song, and then he was just like Satan. And he like talked to him. About, what was he like, wearing? I wonder. Like nothing. Like, Price he was just, he was just like out. A, he was like a dude with like some you know he was just like a dude with like wings. Yeah, honestly. To him, but it was like he said it was really shroomy. It wasn't like just literally a dude. I mean, you'd have to chop it up with Satan if you pulled up on you, because what are you gonna do? Yeah. Satan's pretty fucking lit. Well, he said he told him it was Satan. He said he was like I'm like. I am like the you know the fallen angel and like the god of like music and I can and I can teach you how to play this song but you have to give me your soul and he was like nah if Satan really runs hell all our favorite people are down there chilling with him I, there's no way Jimi Hendrix is like in heaven he's like chilling with Satan you know like if like that shit is like real yeah I don't think it is yeah I don't I mean, think but, it is either, yeah, but, you know it all depends on like yeah, I think the, that's kind of stupid it depends like what like rules you follow too yeah like if you think about everyone's subjective version of heaven it's so different it's, there's no way it's a unified thing it wouldn't make everybody happy what do you it guys satiate everyone what do you guys uh, picture when you see heaven do you see like a bunch of clouds with, like gotta, niggas like standing on it no, it's or is it like, be, a, like a, like a I, city I, that's I feel like, like it's gotta be an, if, it, if it exists in any capacity it's gotta be an individualized thing individualized thing yeah definitely I think like it's a thing like where karma and like shit isn't like what we it's not like what you think from like your living perspective like you could be reborn as a snail. Like, say this dude, like, lived his whole life and he suffered a lot and, like, saw a lot of bad shit and, like, was a good man. And then he dies and in his next life, like, his body goes in the earth and, like, part of him comes back as a snail. Like, that snail... And phone M's chilling. He Snails is, and M's chilling. That might be heaven so, yo, for free, him. Free K flock. Because yeah. he gets to be free. He saw so much suffering in his life and now he gets to be born as a lower creature and not have to experience those things. That might be heaven for him. Yeah. But then another dude might be, like, a murder and a terrible person and then he doesn't get to, like, be a higher <laughs> being. Maybe he's reborn as a snail and that's hell, but it's like the same thing. It's just like it's different depending on like why. Or depending on what happens. Yeah, like is it heaven to be a snail? Is it hell to be a tree? Like I don't know. Well, like I can what, be what like is a it? monkey or something that's real fast and strong. Yeah, I'm trying to come back as a mountain like, lion. Something that's just like really athletic. I'm trying to like be like inanimate for a little bit and then like come back as some shit that like consumes that inanimate energy and then like 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 you know animates it. Sloth and it wouldn't be that bad. Like, like a fruit. I'm trying to be like a fruit. Pumpkin? Like a part of a plant. <coughs> what like an eggplant? I love fruit, like a lemon. Sour. No, like a Meyer, like a Meyer lemon. They're really juicy and good for juicing and like sweet. I'm trying to come back as like a mountain lion. <laughs> I want to be like an elusive like mountain lion. I'm trying to like ambush niggas, like jump from the back and like bite them on the side of the neck. <laughs> like clean Got kill. You. Yeah, clean <laughs> kill. Like clean, like instant kill. Imagine how good that feels when a mountain lion gets oh, really that good. clean instant kill. Yeah, probably that shit really probably good. feels better than any nut any of us have ever busted. Like when a mountain lion His gets that like instant dilated. kill, he's probably like so like lit the by that. <laughs> like, that feeling is so lit that like it, you know, that. if you like turn your back to like a cat or like a dog, you ever notice that they might like run up behind you and like bite you and like run off? Yeah. That's the feeling that like a mountain lion gets when he does it's that primal. shit. It's like it's so primal that like no one can resist it. It's like a pelican could be cool because pelicans are big and no, nothing really pelicans fucks with pelicans. And you could yeah. soar. You could also like gulp Think water. Think about it. Crazy. Like maybe like you'll be reborn as like a species that you don't even know about. Yeah. I want the same feeling from making a bunch of money from doing like some random basic just like carnal task, like eating a banana makes me feel like I just had like ten thousand dollars. Yeah. I just want to really, be like some kind of animal I that like gives that. me you that. You know kind we're of lost money. on that, bro. Yeah, it's we're like lost a, on that. It's like a dopamine <laughs> yeah. fucking overload. It's like yeah. a disease. Yeah. Yeah. Like, all feel too good like you don't deserve yeah. to feel that good like you don't you're, deserve to feel like that you're good you're probably like a piece of shit and don't do shit like really realistically yeah. for like very many people like a lot of you guys yeah. watching this are like probably fucking retarded but like 
<laughs> you don't deserve to like feel that good, but you do yeah. just because like we have like invented shit. We have like yeah. a getting phone. Getting high all the time and coming and yeah, fucking like watching a, your favorite shows 24-7. Like open like disease, your fucking though. phone. You can just watch yeah, all kinds like, of yeah, bullshit. Yeah, just, uh, scroll down your Instagram yeah. shit and feel good feel and shit. Good, yeah. You don't deserve to feel that you good. You like comment some shit and be like, you fucking suck. And you yeah, feel and you good. feel mad great about like, that shit. Yeah. You piece of fucking shit. There's a dopamine like crisis. Yeah. Like people don't realize like the reason like they like fucking suck is like because of them. Yeah, literally. Too much screen time. Everyone's like, yo, yeah. shit sucks. It's like, this thing's fault. It's like, nah, dude, it's like your fault. You're like a part of it and you suck. <laughs> you like don't do shit to change it and you suck ass. And you just like say shit when it's like convenient. 99% yeah. of people are like fucking like, like stupid niggas are like not... NPC like retards. A lot of people don't actually do anything. Niggas are true. programmed to yeah. respond to, to like I do. I'm not, no, I'm yeah, not no, like no, I do I things, but too. I'm just saying it's No, like, I'm yeah. like out here sipping a beer. Yeah. Like, yeah. I make rap music. I'm like not really like doing like too much. Like, no, niggas are part of the problem. I'm part of it, but I, like, I can admit it. I feel like there's different if problems that niggas are a part of, though. If you want to do something about it. There's different shit that niggas are a part of that I'm not a part of, I would say, though. Like, I definitely, like, feed into, like, a lot of, like, consumption type shit. Yeah. But I definitely don't feed into the, like, that every time something happens on, like, Twitter or some shit, I'm about to, like, talk about it. Yeah. Or make a post about it. Then I actually do nothing about Social it. Social media is crazy, though, because you could go, you could get rich from your bedroom just chilling. Yeah. In your room. Yeah. yeah. You can get yeah. rich off getting other niggas concerned with some shit that you don't even care about. Yeah. Imagine if you never had porn and, like, you fucking like rummage through the forest for like an, a, a fucking like mango, and like you don't have like food. There's no like McDonald's. Like you're like an animal. And you no, find like no a fruits near you my find house, like man. a mango. I've been in the woods and look. There's like maybe some berries. You know how good it would feel to bite into a fucking mango if you haven't eaten food in like yeah. three days. You know what's crazy water. too? Like fruit back in the day used to be like way smaller and like more fibrous and like yeah. less like sugar filled and water filled and like I feel like we fucked fruit up. They're even fucking the fruit up, damn. Yeah, they should make chocolate milk less sugary. I've been saying that. Yeah. What kind of chocolate milk do you like? What's your favorite one? Probably, right now, probably. Fair life because it's the least oh sugary. Really? I'm yeah. not gonna front. That's I'm, the milk. I'm yeah. from the hood. I fuck with the Swiss Miss. And it has the omega three. Yeah. It's helpful yeah. to your brain. The Swiss that Swiss Miss, man. That's the no. But on the on the heaven tip, yeah. just because I was thinking about it, like heaven, people think it's like this place that everyone goes to. But so say like I fuck with Randall, right? But Randall fucks with Bob, and I don't fuck with Bob. Yeah. And I'm like, well, Bob can't be here. It's my heaven. And then Randall's like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It just wouldn't work. It has to be individualized. It's definitely individualized. It would never work. Because your heaven could be someone else's him. hell. You could think you're in heaven with like this girl who like you really love, who He's you always like, liked, who like loves you. But then like for her, that's hell being with you because she hates you. The human psyche is crazy. Think about losing your mind. How insane that is. That's my least favorite thing to think about. You're still alive. You're you ever, still on Earth. You ever, you're really you ever not done there. That? Lost my, lost my like shit a bit. Seen like into like what that is, kind of. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah, I felt, yeah, like I felt really death. bad. You ever felt it's like to like have ego dissolution, or you don't like remember yourself, or like shit. Yeah, I felt like or just uh, disassociated and or just some tweak your shit. Associate. Like yeah. it's crazy. Like who are you? You don't that's even know. Sometimes acid is a little crazy. I've done acid a bunch. And that's what makes me think, like, like all acid. these ideas are so crazy, because it's like, think about it, right? Like, why would heaven exist? Because, like, heaven's just an idea that, like, you have to, like, believe that you exist to think exists. Like, almost. Like, what? Like, before well, yeah. anyone was there to be, like, heaven, like, what is it? Like, you, we just, we're just deciding a bunch of shit arbitrarily yeah. so we can understand it. It's funny. I feel like heaven and space are kind of the same. Not that space isn't real. I can't prove space isn't real. I feel like people need to believe in space so they can believe that there's some kind of, like, reason or some shit for their existence. Everything. Or like something like that, but it's yeah. like in reality, none of us have ever been to space, and you don't know anyone that's been to space, and we haven't been to the moon in how long. Like the International Space Station, if you could drive a car to the International have Space Station, have we been Station, to the moon though? For real? Come, do we, I don't have, think. Have, have I don't been? think. I because personally who, don't think we've been to the moon. What other countries been to the moon besides America? Like Russia. Put a, put a person Russia. on the moon. Russia, and they lie about everything. I don't think we've been to the moon. You know, if you could drive a car to the International Space Station, like if you drive down the road, it would take you three and a half hours to get there. That's how far we, the, the International Space Station is. It's actually not that far from Earth. They went to the moon with, like, technology that's less than, like, a cell phone. And then, like, why don't we, like, go do some other shit yeah. there? Because we got, like, seven fucking billion, like, uh, seven trillion cell phones. Yeah. yeah. Like, why haven't we, like, I don't get it. You know? well, I think, I think it's cap. It's why, has, fake. why hasn't Japan been able to get I'm there? I'm not saying it's fake. I'm just saying, like, there's some reason. No. There's something. There's like, something there's different. Something there's happened. something that they're hiding. Maybe there's something about that there. shit. Why, is, why, yeah. why have, like, China and Japan not been able to get to the moon yet? That's what I'm saying. That makes, yeah. that makes no like, sense. They would, they would, they'd be able allowed. to do it by now, though. Yeah, they'd, they'd be, be up there right now. They'd be colonizing that shit. China would be on the you moon right they now. Can, they, they can. And China they would be on the moon right now, making a bunch of shit to sell to us. You know what's like a crazy thing? What? Like the flat Earth thing. Yeah, yeah. We're like, I don't think like Earth is flat, but like think about how like you think the Earth is like round, but like very few people have ever like actually like gone around and like done anything where they can actually like just say that they know that. Yeah. So like. All of us believing this thing makes it so it's like light. It's like, you know how light bounces off something and bounces back to you and it confirms to you that it exists? Yeah. Like, me believing that
and like I'm like confirming to you that something exists. Yeah, and exactly. If everyone thinks money exists, then it yeah, exists. It exists. It exists. But yeah. really, we're just like giving like people like power in the form of like yeah. this thing, and like Leap. we're giving it away. And that's yeah. how allegations and shit work yeah. too. That we live in the era of like people just believing things because they believe it. Like he said, like no one's ever sailed across the earth and made sure it wasn't flat. Well, I mean, like I'm sure they some have. niggas have, yeah. but we have it. But, but we have. still and believe so how it. Do I, how do I yeah, how do it? I know that's true? And I've never seen it myself. I believe in like seeing stuff. Yeah, same. Before I like know. I don't yeah. believe in like saying I know shit that I like actually don't. That I actually don't faith. know. So you don't like having faith Even in I things, do that I guess. A lot. What? Not I really. Think it'd be like called like faith. Faith would be like having have believing things that you can't prove or. Yeah, no, nah, I don't really you have too much faith. You had faith in yourself when you yeah. like started doing uh, like music and stuff, I would think. But that's because he yeah. sees, yeah. he knows himself. He's seen himself. Yeah. Like yeah, you, yeah, so you know that's yourself, so yeah. you can believe in yourself. I just like but felt that I had like at some point like become something like so. Yeah, like at some point I started believing, and that's what created the change. Like started doing things that actually worked. Yeah. Like before that, it was like nothing was working because I didn't believe. Yeah. But like once I started actually believing, like. It's crazy. It's like you can feel a difference once you start like actually knowing like yeah, I'm capable of like something. Oh, so many people feel so like not capable. They're like, "Oh, what am I going to do? Like I I can't like get away from my parents cuz I can't make money or like I have to like get a job and like it, they pay so little and it's like you're just like stuck, you know what I'm saying? You're stuck yeah. now in that like light box. Like everyone's confirming to you that this is what society is. This is how you have to be. And so now you're stuck. You're like in a maze. You're like a rat like you can't get out. Yeah. People do what they want. Like if you really wanted to do something, you would do it. You just don't you know can, what you want to do. You can actually you do, anything do anything you want. Yeah. You can actually do but anything you, gotta, you want. Humans, if they decide they want to do something, they do They yeah. do it. Like we're very capable creatures. That's the craziest thing about being a human is you can actually do anything you want. Like that's just fucking insane. You can literally do anything you want. As long as like you have that, you can really, you're unstoppable really. Yeah. Yeah, like I can be like this right now. Take off the mic protector. Just did it. <laughs> it's good. That's it. Uh, it doesn't matter. Like, like you know what? Like no one's gonna ever be around to like even like remember that we like did this right now. Eventually. You know what's gonna? Be, yeah, I think about like my channel gets deleted, and then like all those like videos and memories and stuff are just like erased. Yeah. I yeah. haven't backed up, but like yeah, your your uh, your like digital scary. life can just get wiped out, and it's but like it's, damn. it doesn't matter, right? Cause like yeah, eventually, like a way. million years from now, like nobody will even like give a fuck that we even like breathed. So like, fuck it, dude. Like this shit is like not as serious as we think. Like, yeah. Like this shit's all like stupid. It's like a crazy, just beautiful dance, you know. Like at one point, everything apparently was like all together, and then now it's it came apart and became us, and now we're here together. And then one day, it's we'll not all just come like back together. we'll all like our bodies will yeah. dissolve into the ground, and then like the ground will become itself, and then it'll all be one again. It'll all come back and together. Just do that again. Yeah. We're like each other, but we just forgot we were we were the same. Free K flock, free K flock. What about D thing? D thing doesn't get any love. Uh, don't do that to me. <laughs> I don't know any of these people, so they can all be loved if they want. Yeah, look at that. Peace, peace and love. Keep keep young thug. Free D thing. What? Keep young thug. Free K flock. <laughs> Flammatory. Come on. He has the mic in his hand now. Yeah, he's like he's holding. Them. I don't give up the mic off though. Just yeah, just hold the mic. Yo, holding this shit actually feels fucking crazy. Well, I'm actually like. Uh... It's been really fun. Thank you for letting me like talk to y'all. But like, uh, I'm gonna just go like walk around the beach now. So like, I'll let you guys like keep like finishing and like doing like cool shit and like yeah. Thanks for coming on the show. I love you. I love gang, you, fighter gang, ice gang. <laughs>